In today's lecture, we will learn how to represent a number in binary. First, let us try to know what do we mean by a decimal number system. The word decimal means 10. So, a decimal number system is a number system which uses 10 digits for the representation of the numbers. The 10 digits which are used in the decimal number system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And the remaining numbers are the repetition of these digits. So the base of a decimal number system is 10. Now the question arises, what do we mean by the base of a number system? The number of digits which are used to represent any number system is called its base. And in decimal number system we find that 10 digits are used for the representation of the numbers. So the base of the decimal number system is 10. Now the next type of number system is the binary number system which is used in digital electronics as well as the computers also work on binary number system. So what is a binary number system? Now the word by means two. So binary number system is a number system which uses only two digits for the representation of the numbers. It makes use of only two digits, 0 and 1. So the base of the binary number system is 2 because only two digits are used to represent this number system. Now we will learn how to write a given decimal number in the binary. For this first we will try to understand the binary addition. We know that in binary number system only two digits are used 0 and 1. So if 0 and 0 are added in binary then the sum comes out to be 0 that is 0 plus 0 is 0. Similarly when 0 and 1 are added in binary then the answer will be 1 that is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Similarly if 1 is added to 0 in binary then again we will get 1 that is 1 plus 0 will give a 1. And if 1 and 1 are added in binary then we will get sum as 0 and there will be a carry 1 here and since there are no digits here so this 1 will be carried down so that 1 and 1 when added in binary then the answer will be 1 0 that is in binary if 1 and 1 are added then the sum will be 0 and 1 will be carried over here and this since there is no digits here so this 1 will be carried down so that the answer will be 1 0 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 0 in binary. So we find that in binary 0 plus 0 will give us 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 1 0. And we will follow this rule of binary addition to represent any decimal number system in binary. So let us now move on to the decimal number system and the binary number system and let us see how we can represent any given decimal number in binary. The decimal number system 0 in this the decimal number 0 is written in binary as 0. Similarly the decimal number 1 is written as 1 in binary that is decimal 0 can be written as 0 in binary and decimal 1 and can be written as 1 in binary number system. Now 
what will be the value of decimal 2 in the binary number system. So we find that if we look at these numbers we find that if we add 1 to this 0 it gives 1 similarly 1 plus 1 gives 2 2 plus 1 gives 3 3 plus 1 gives 4 4 plus 1 gives 5 5 plus 1 gives 6 and so on similar is the case with the binary numbers that is when a 1 is added to this 0 0 plus 1 gives 1 similarly when 1 is added to this 1 as we see we have seen here that if 1 is added to 1 then the answer comes out to be 1 0 so if 1 is added to 1 the next digit will be 1 0 so the decimal 2 can be represented as 1 0 in binary now if we want to represent decimal 3 in binary then we will have to add 1 to this value so 1 0 plus 1 then we get as we see from here that if 1 is added to this 1 0 then 0 plus 1 comes out to be 1 and this 1 is carried over here so that the answer is 1 1 so when 1 is added to this 1 0 the answer will come out to be 1 1 so the decimal 3 can be written as 1 1 in binary now if we want to represent the decimal 4 in the binary then we will have to add 1 to this 1 1 because this is the binary representation of the decimal 3 so if 1 is added to 1 1 as we can see from here that 1 1 plus 1 then we get 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry 1 now this 1 and 1 is again 0 and 1 is carried over here so that this 1 comes over here and so when 1 1 is added with 1 then the answer comes out to be 1 0 0 so 1 1 plus 1 can be written as 1 0 0 so decimal 4 in binary can be written as 1 0 0 similarly if you want to write decimal 5 in binary then we will add 1 to this so 1 0 0 plus 1 will give 1 0 1 as we can see from here 1 0 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 will come out to be 1 this 0 and this is 1 so the decimal 5 can be written as 101 in binary similarly for writing the decimal 6 in binary we will add 1 to this 101 so when we add 1 to 101 again we find that 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry 1 again 1 plus 0 is 1 and this 1 is carried over here so that 101 plus 1 will come out to be 110 so we have written here 101 plus 1 is equal to 110. So the decimal 6 in terms of binary can be written as 110. Similarly, the decimal 7 can be written as 110 plus 1, which comes out to be 111. So the, deci in the decimal 7 in binary can be written as 111. Similarly, the decimal 8 can be obtained by adding 1 to this value that is 111 plus 1 will come out to be 1000 0. so the decimal 8 in binary can be written as 1000 0. similarly if you want to write the value of the decimal 9 in binary then we will add 1 to this value so 1000 0 plus 1 will come out to be 1001 so 1001 is the binary value of the decimal number 9. Similarly for writing 10 we will add 1 to this value. If we add 1 to this value then 
the answer comes out to be 1010 according to the binary addition. So the decimal 10 can be written as 1010 in binary. Similarly, we can write the value of 11 by adding 1 to this value which comes out to be 1011. Similarly, the value of 12 can be obtained by adding 1 to this value which comes out to be 1100. Similarly, if we add 1 to this value, then we get 1101 which is the binary value of the decimal number 30. Similarly, if we add 1 to this value, then the answer comes out to be 1110 which is the binary equivalent of the decimal 40. Similarly, when 1 is added to this value, then we get 1111 which is the binary value of the decimal number 50. Similarly, if we add 1 to this value, then we will get the binary value of the decimal number 16. When 1 is added to this value, then we get the value of the decimal number 17. Similarly, if we add 1 to this value, then we get the value of the decimal number 18. If we add 1 to this value, then we will get the value of the decimal number 19 and similarly when 1 is added to this value then we get the value of the decimal number 20 that is decimal 20 in binary can be written as 10100 similarly the decimal number 19 in binary will be written as 10011 so in this way we can represent any decimal number in the binary number system.